Hi everyone, welcome back. If you've ever been here before, and welcome if you've never been here before. I am Maureen, the Recovered Colorista, and today I am very excited to do two unboxings. I will do a tryout video later, but my camera stinks, so I'm sorry for the background noise. I'm just getting it together here. So today, first of all, I have the Nyoni 120 set of colored pencils. Guys, I've been dying for these pencils for a while, but every single time I tried to get them, they were out of stock, or the vendor on Amazon that was selling them was charging a ridiculous amount of money. These are budget Japanese pencils. Chinese, excuse me. These are budget Chinese pencils, but according to Harry over at Art Gear Guide, they behave a lot like Japanese pencils. So, I just got them today, and I'm going to show you guys. So, I took them out of the box already, but let me open this box. It's a beautiful box, first of all. Very pretty. That's the inside of the cover. Co arm color, it says. So, there is a plastic film. I don't know if you can see it covering the top layer and then we have this top layer here so i do not care for the order of the pencils i will be putting them back in family order uh, we have this sharpener which is a standard budget sharpener probably won't be using that and an eraser which is always handy it's a white i believe rubber it could be latex not sure i'll find out um so you have a really cute assortment of greens couple oranges yellows there's a gray up here for some reason i don't know the palette's beautiful i like the way the pencil looks so we have i don't have a tripod so i can't really hold the pencil and show you but so there's a lot of information on the pencil itself, or it appears to be. Um, that number right there is just to differentiate it. The N8520 is to differentiate it from the watercolor pencil. And then up here we have Nyoni colored pencil painting it's a missed opportunity for some info on this side of the pencil in all honesty and then the other side of the pencil i don't really care for my lighting here sorry guys i'm really sorry the lighting's terrible it's got painting oiliness and the pencil number, N019. I apologize for the quality of my camera and the lighting, because you really can't see. And it's in glittery gold. So there are no color names on these pencils, unfortunately. You've got the number, and that's it. But it's easy enough to make up your own names and the behavior of the pencil. I'm sorry, the name isn't as important to me as the way the pencil behaves. So, that's the first layer. They're really pretty pencils. And then they have the standard. The tray is more rugged than most. I'm holding this in one hand, as you can see. So, it's not as flimsy as most. Let me put this over here. Hello, that's my bed. And then you have the second layer, very nice colors, reds, purples, blues, more greens. I think these are the de desaturated greens, I'm not really sure. I just got them, so I have to take a look. And then you have the bottom, too. see there's more purples down here and pinks, so I definitely have to rearrange these, but it's a very extensive palette. It looks, once I get it in order, I will show you guys again, but it looks very well balanced. There's a really decent amount of grays, which makes me happy. I don't, there's a decent amount of browns from what it looks like, too. Browns, reds, and grays are important to me, as are greens and blues. So, yeah, browns, reds, and grays they have in abundance, and that's important. 
All right, so that's the Nioni. I'm sorry I keep moving my camera all over the place. I'm not good at this. I'm a podcaster, not a YouTuber. Sorry. All right, and now we have... These made me more excited than the next pencils, honestly. But the next pencils are a big deal. Excuse that mess. I'm going to have to edit this. Now we have the 76 Museum Aquarelle from Karen Dash. Yes. So, these are for a specific project. I'm doing a portrait, and that's what these are for. Look at this. Oh, my God. Look, the box lid is its sturdy cardboard, and it comes away. It, it's not on a hinge. It comes away. These are not going in a case, probably. Well, they might. I don't know, but I like this box. So, even if they go in a case, I'm keeping the box. You get your little thing here. And then, look. They're all in little nesty... I love boxes of new pencils. So, on this pencil, you have very easily read the color name. And then on the next side... You have the code for open stock, the number of light fast stars. All Karen Dash pencils are extremely light fast. They're artist grade pencils, not like the fan color and stuff like that. But yeah, so this violet is three stars, which means it's extremely light fast. Then on this side, you have Museum Aquarelle. That paintbrush indicates that it is a watercolor pencil. Company name Karen Dash, Swiss made. 3510 is the product code. 120 is the color number. And then here we have the color name. So, everything you could possibly want. I don't understand pencils like Nioni and other colored pencils. Like, they have all of this stuff like painting, colored pencil, and all of that on the pencil. Why can't you just put the pencil information on the pencil? Alright, so this box has these little tabs on the end to lift it out. The tray is a full box, and it's got velvet underneath the bottom. And is it, this is the next level. Oh, don't drop. This desk is tiny. Sorry, guys. This is the next level. So, the greens. All right, the colors on the barrel pretty much match the actual pigment. I think I dropped one. Shit. All right. And then the third level is down here. You've got your grays and your darker color. So, yeah. And that is the Museum Aquarelle. So, I'm sorry that this is a terrible video. Once again, I will figure this out and learn. But, yes. Those are my two pencils. I will come back probably tomorrow with a swatch chart and one will be on watercolor paper and one will be on regular colored pencil paper and I will let you know what I think and my impressions so there you go